It's designed to help you to create Amazon stores. Now this is an example of one of the Amazon stores that I've created. Basically this includes jewelry, it's auto populated all of the data with my affiliate link as well so if anyone clicks through and decides to buy any of these items I'll get paid on that sale. Okay, so you can see here your price. It's even it's added some strike throughs. It looks really good. It looks attractive. And you know, for someone that's searching for these types of items to come to your website, they're going to have a good experience when they actually go through and start looking through. So if you'd like to create these types of websites for whatever niche you want to, either it's an Amazon site you're creating or something else, this software will do it really well. So here's how it works. Basically, it's a a plugin for WordPress. All right. So if we go back to dashboard, this is a WordPress site that I have here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this plugin. This is called Stream Store right here. The first step is we go to Setup Wizard. Okay, now the Setup Wizard is going to grab all of the data that we want to use for our Amazon store. We add in our Amazon credentials so we can get paid on any sales we make. We then go next to Preferences. Now the preferences is going to be, uh, and it's resetting everything right now, we can actually search by keywords. So if we wanted to search for jewelry, for example, then we could do that. If we wanted to search for, say for example, fitness, clothing, we could do that through here as well. And it's going to actually grab um, information based on the keywords and populate our website with them. Now in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it as classic as we had before because you can also search by categories. So if we go next to categories, what you're gonna see here is we have the ability to select a category, an entire category, from anywhere inside of Amazon. So say for example you want to structure your website around beauty products, you'd be able to select beauty, and if you wanted to have all the beauty products in your store, you would just leave it like that. If you then wanted to select a certain type of beauty product that you wanted to focus on for your store, you could do that, and then you can even search through more and get even more detailed and even more niche if you really want to as well. Now obviously the more products you have, the larger your website will be. Google will see that and, and hopefully that'll help you to rank. Also, when people go to your website, they'll have more selection as well. Now, you wanna get specific with your niche so you can target it, you can get traffic that's targeted to it. However, you don't, got, don't wanna to get too specific because you may then um, have a situation where you've actually gone too specific and you don't have enough of an audience in order to sell those products to. Now, from here, what you can do is you can actually choose a pre-made template, and they've pre-made a bunch of different templates here that you can select from. So depending on what your niche is that you've actually selected, you can choose the one that suits you the best. So in this case, if I was doing skincare, I might have a look and I might go through, maybe this one would fit. Um, maybe, say for example, this one would fit, because obviously I'm probably going to be more focused on women since they're probably more likely um, to be buying skincare. So I click load template, that's going to choose which template I've selected. Now you would have noticed over here in the last example that we had, um, if I load this right now, that um, the store we had chosen, the template, was one of the other templates from our store. Maybe this one will load. Okay, this one here. Okay, it was one of the other templates from our store. Now we've selected a different template, so that's going to now refresh and our store will change. So I've just changed and adjusted the store we had previously. Now if we want to, we can go ahead, we can enable a landing page, so we can actually have people landing on a landing page before they go to our website, so we can generate a lead or something like that. We can choose to show the sidebar, ena enable individual pages, enable one page landing page, and if we go finish, or if we want to, we can even import templates. If we go finish now, what it's going to do is it's actually gonna go ahead and build our website based around our settings. Now I think, I believe, it's online, yep, okay, I believe it's done. It says it's finished, it says finished, so I believe, oh, there it is, okay, it's just my, my computer is playing up a little bit. There we are, now it's finished. Okay, cool, so if we go back here, we now refresh our website, what we're gonna see is we're going to see a different template being used, and you can also, as you can see there, get the best deals, discount 30%, you can actually run specials on your store as well, I'm um, encouraging people to buy on a certain day because you're running a discount special or something like that, and it'll actually grab that information from Amazon. Cool, so we've created our store. We can search through our store. We can also go ahead and buy any of these um, beauty products that I've selected as well. And if we wanted to, we could customize these even more. And you can see they're quite broad. I probably would want to customize these even more because it seems like Amazon and their categories here have a lot of different products. So I'd probably go back and I'll go through that same process and customize this a little bit more. Say for example though, we wanted to dig down into a particular product. We said for example, um, you know, if we go down here, 
let's find it a uh, standard skincare product here we are if we were to click on this what it's going to do is it's going to load up a landing page now this landing page is going to help us to increase conversions when people actually go to um, to Amazon to purchase we can look at the discount here we can choose to add to cart if we want to we can choose to buy now now the product specs will load I believe um, these product specs as you can see they've loaded they're a wrong color so um, you can I believe you can adjust that slightly I haven't seen that before usually it would be white but I, I guess it depends on um, how the store is listed within Amazon now if we've added that to our cart we've got our cart here say for example we've added all these products to our cart we click checkout what will happen is it's now going to direct us to Amazon with all of those products in our cart and now we can go ahead and we can make a purchase now in my case it says that this product that I was just about to buy has uh, is unavailable in this country so um, that's a shame if I go continue and um, say for example a customer was to do this and they bought you would get paid a commission from Amazon for for doing this so um, there you go you can see that there and these are the two items that have been added to my Amazon cart now and because I've clicked through my store because I've clicked through this store right here um, the store owner which would be you hopefully you'd get paid um, for uh, these sales that have occurred on all the different items that have been added to your cart so really really cool it's easy to set up we can go into preferences we can make additional adjustments if we wanted to we can have say for example search parameters that load up so it only finds certain products and ranks them higher uh, so people can see only those specific products to help increase conversions we can also go into SEO settings and we can customize our SEO settings so for example um, you know the home page could have a uh, or a home title could rank in Google for that home title we've got a search title we've got different metadata we can add in we can even add in Facebook pixel Facebook landing page pixel so we can actually add retargeting to our website as well now down below I've got a bit more specific settings Amazon credentials which we've already added in we've got our Amazon categories which we've already customized but you can adjust them here as well and if you wanted to go into the UK market the California market or the Canada market um, you could go ahead and you could enter a associate ID for that market so it depends on where you are in the world which market you enter um, enter into we can also have different Amazon items so we can actually restructure the way that content is shown on our particular items as well and we can take away certain things so we could take away reviews for example we don't want to include reviews or if we do want to include reviews we leave them here and it's going to grab that data we've also got analytics so we can actually see how much traffic we're getting back to our website and um, this software makes it really easy to filter the different dates that we may want and um, also you can see here how many searches we have what countries people are coming from and um, other data that may be useful to figuring out you know what you need to do to increase conversions on your website so this basically